Viacom CBS uh, C- says CEO was investigated over sexual misconduct claim about, uh, but but the probe did not support the allegation. In it, they went on to say, the board takes any allegation of this type seriously. An independent review of the alleged incident has concluded and the investigation did not support the allegation. Viacom CBS, Viacom CBS said in a statement to The Hollywood Reporter on Thursday. Here to discuss more about this, Stephanie Carlin and how this relates to the music industry. And this is important. So love to hear what uh, your thoughts on this. Thanks, Peter. Uh, So as I read this article and then Googled all the variations of whatever this press release was and read those, I got angry because the article was written by men and it was written for men. This article was not written with a shred of acknowledgement towards women in the music industry. It in no way gets into a woman's perspective. And, you know, we've come to accept this as normal and status quo. And what keeps women silent is the same thing that keeps women small in her industry, because most women feel undeserving of speaking truth. And there's a reason for that, right? Like, quick recap, up until quite recently, if uh, women had any societal value, a woman had no money to herself. Women didn't work 50 years ago. And a century after winning the right to vote and no longer being a man's property, we still don't make the same amount as men. And so what are the belief systems that are given to us women? You don't deserve it. You have to ask for permission. You're not allowed to have it. Don't make him angry. And when men join the women's programs I lead and they see how much a woman grapples with these ingrained belief systems, they're shocked. Uh, I'm told men don't think things like this. And so Viacom is one with CBS now, and we all know Les Moonves left as the CEO of CBS because of crazy harassment claims, like forcing women to perform oral sex on him. And now his replacement, Bob Backish, gets to coast. And as a woman in the music industry, I'm going to be real. I am constantly scanning the room to discern who could be a rapist and who could I be safe with. And I've got a 50-50 shot of getting it right. As a woman in the music industry, I have to create fake email accounts so it looks like I'm being represented by a man because that's the only way I get a response. As a woman in the music industry, I know I have to work twice as hard to get paid the same as my male counterparts. As a woman in the music industry, my blood boils when I read an article like this because we can do better. We can do better than passively report a vague claim that's been dropped due to what? This article doesn't say why it was dropped or what the investigation entailed, probably because the investigation was garbage. And if you know more about it, I encourage you to comment on this video, enlighten me, because maybe I'm missing something. But the fact remains that Bob Backish is still the CEO of Viacom CBS. He's still a leader in my industry. This will be a blip on the screen. And the message to me is I, as a woman, am just not worth it. So we have a long way to go in dismantling the patriarchy in this industry. And if you start to hear the quiet whispers of the women around you, the whispers of me too, every time a woman has the audacity and the courage to speak out and share and risk being fired and made wrong and ostracized in this industry, if you start to hear all the whispers of the women inspired by her courage, but still dominated by all these beliefs, I don't deserve it. I have to ask for permission. I'm not allowed to speak truth. Don't make him angry. Well, I think you'd agree we have a long way to go. So those are my thoughts on that.